Welcome again to uh, Electronica 2016, Jan Buiting reporting for Elector Business uh, Television. And again back at the uh, Elector Electronica booth, which is hosting the Fast Forward Awards. With me um, this afternoon is Yvonne Goudou from uh, ST Microelectronics, or ST as we uh, tend to call it. Yvonne uh, has kindly uh, offered to uh, tell us a bit about uh, a specific um, activity of STM and a very strong activity called NFC. Yvonne, welcome. What's, uh, what's the latest development with ST on the NFC stuff? Because that's, it is very popular. Yes, thank you. Hello, Jan, and, and thanks for this opportunity to, to let me talk about You're welcome, the, man. the, the <laughs> NFC. <laughs> Um, today what we have in, in development uh, is, is for NFC is in three categories of products. We have the tag, so the, the, the category uh, first. Show it uh, even yeah, the tag. To have tag, this yeah. kind of uh, tag which is coming from the world of RFID. NFC is a subset mm -hmm. of the RFID. Mm -hmm. So we have tags. We have as well dynamic tag as a second one. So this means a tag which is connected to an electronic device through a, a wired connection, so through I2C, for yeah. instance. Mm -hmm. And we have the reader. Third one? The, re the reader. Third ah, one is the, okay. are the readers. Yeah. So here is a demonstration of a reader. Yeah. And the big things which oh, we showed have on today camera, is yeah. that Thank you. Uh, a reader, for instance, uh, which is capable to read a, a, a tag, okay, mm -hmm. uh, or my 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 credit uh, my business card. Ah, your credit card. <laughs> not yet. My credit card is. They are not secure uh, reader like a point of sales uh, is a good point. They are reader for any kind of uh, uh, memory uh, uh, transfer. Okay. actually and the good things is thanks to the the payment actually which we have seen uh, from a big manufacturer of mobile phone um, there is not only the capability to to have a reader and the capability of reading tag or dynamic tag mm -hmm. from like in the past mm -hmm. uh, industrial readers which were used for mass transportation mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, access control, we have it as well in mobile phone. So for instance, uh, some part of the market have, have, have created some messages with a simple uh, Android uh, mobile phone the, in a native way, this means without any specific application, I can read an NFC tag. Here it's my business card. There is no app, app involved, even. For this demo, uh, there is no apps. Uh, we could have demo with apps as well. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a quite large range of uh, application, flexible uh, use cases, which we can demonstrate. So for instance, if I read my, uh, my business card uh, with, uh, with a mobile phone, yeah. it recognizes that there is, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I, I pushed the wrong button. It, it recognizes that um, uh, yeah. this is a business card. Where should I store it? Mm -hmm. And it tells uh, this is the business card of Yves Gourdou with the name and so on. Yeah without any apps. Then after, if you want to create interaction between your application and an NFC phone, uh, which is a beautiful screen, a beautiful yeah, yeah. user um, interface. Or a menu or whatever, yeah. Yes. So this, you could start to make an exchange. You create your own apps and you, came, you come on a, on a dynamic tag this time. So if, Yvonne, do you have the tools and the software and the explanations to tell users how to program their own apps with NFC? Yes, so we have uh, on, 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 on the reader part, uh, we have an example of a reader, uh, which the people can download this example on Google Play, and the source code of this example on st.com. Okay? Uh, the, the reader is called st25 uh, reader. Uh, so this is one of the, the software tools uh, which we give. On the other side, if you want to communicate with dynamic tag, which are connected to a system, so a microcontroller, we are providing uh, this kind of hardware board, which plugs to the um, uh, Nucleo board, which you have mentioned before. Yes, the, uh, the, uh, the, kind of our uh, baby for this entire show, I think, the SCM uh, Nucleo. Yeah. Yes. So you, you plug it on it for to have a compatibility in the hardware. And uh, for the, the firmware you have to download, there is already uh, adapted to this a library uh, on st.com, which you can download. And you can develop very quickly your own application, your own use cases. Yeah. And uh, your, um, STM32 uh, ODE, it says, uh, Open Development Environment. It, you've already mentioned the word open and open source. How open is this system NFC reading 
okay. to, to the users and to the advanced engineers who want to develop their own applications. So it's, it's, it's fully open and standardized uh, through uh, different uh, standards. Mm -hmm. So the NFC is inside of the NFC forum. Yes. Okay. Uh, everything when you buy uh, this kind of product or kit are uh, free of licenses. Uh, all the licenses issued are already uh, solved and, uh, and uh, included. Uh, okay. Uh, and in terms of uh, firmware as well and, uh, and software, they are uh, free, free uh, example of driver. Uh, so the rest which need to be done is the, the, the application. And Creative, this creativity. This is where the creativity of the user uh, are coming around. Yes, We have seen some very creative people around here on, on the FFA stuff, using STM uh, stuff and Nucleo stuff, so that really confirms that it is very open and very uh, accessible. How do you view, uh, Yvonne, the, the, the future of NFC? Okay, so for me... NFC let, let's say in terms of sales volumes or production volumes. Okay. I've been taking care of this activity now for uh, four years. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have been seeing... Uh, uh, two parts. So, the, 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 of course, on the side, uh, the NFC uh, payment uh, has raised. Where we are taking care today is more on the industrial and consumer part, on the non-secure part. Okay. So, connection with simple tag like the business card or uh, a poster where you want to, to grab a specific yes. application or something like that. Reserve uh, later reserve a film or of grab information about a film I've seen that in a couple of big cities so people who want to load the download the, the trailer or whatever it's called from a m new movie from the streets like uh, so that is a non public non secure application yes and uh, for instance uh, in France you have as well some um, shutters for the bus where you are waiting okay. you want to know when is coming the next bus you download the application automatically it gives you which application through an NFC connection and then you know when the next bus is coming or you can purchase your ticket from this kind of uh, uh, application uh, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the term of volume, uh, today we, we are uh, in the industry hall, it's already massive in terms of volume. So this means several million of units uh, mm -hmm. of people using this kind of dynamic tag. It's a, it's a well-established uh, thing with uh, communication of the Android uh, phone. What we see is, uh, is, is something renewing in terms of, uh, of tag, okay, the simple tag. We always talk about the Internet of Things. Uh, the way it's, it's thought, in the, in, especially in Electronica, is to think that the electronic device will be connected. But uh, thanks to this kind of tag, any device uh, can be can be connected. So uh, uh, yesterday we were seeing a plant. Yes, mention a few examples, Yvonne, please. Yes. So yesterday in the, the movie for the future we were uh, we were seeing a plant which communicates. So if you just put a tag, uh, an NFC tag on on the plant, mm -hmm. okay. You can connect with this plant. You can know where it was uh, grow, which kind of plant is it, how you have to pour the water. Help, I need water. Yes. Uh, all this kind of information, of course, you could connect it to sensor. But the first level of interaction with a plant, with a packet of biscuits, uh, with a pair of shoes or uh, with a, a new suit. Uh, uh, so really, NFC is, is going to be a big deal of the IoT as it is, yes. you're saying. So, let's say that the IoT is the Internet of Things here. It will really early the Internet of, let's say, everything, so if, if, we, if I can enlarge it. So every single uh, uh, object, even uh, passive in terms of uh, electronic, will become uh, connectable through, through this technology. Okay. Yvonne, finally, the products you've been showing on the table, are they av available from ST? Is, is this a kind of development system? How can people purchase it? and um, how can they use it uh, easily? So, for instance, these readers are today available from ST.com uh, as, as a complete package of the ST25 uh, HF uh, uh, reader. Uh, as well, uh, this kind of X-Nucleo are uh, on the web, uh, okay, for uh, roughly $10, uh, uh, they are available and order can be... Your prices are very, always very low. So this is to enable every people, uh, like the startup, uh, who have not really a, a lot of money and who have a, a lot of creativity to bring their idea and to create their own products. So it has to be very affordable. The, the blister shape and all these things is, is inside of this direction. And then the apps, uh, I think many people have already their smartphones, so it's free to download uh, and available. Yvonne, thank you very much for um, telling us 
a bit about NFC, the background, the applications, and your look forward into the future with NFC. Good luck with the product. Thank you. I'm very excited about this and uh, the future with NFC, and, and thanks for this opportunity to speak about it. Okay. Thank you, Yvonne.